Our district has decided to return in person on August the 24th. So here in the operations department, which is our custodial, our maintenance, uh, and our grounds divisions are, have all been working very diligently throughout the summer to make sure that we're ready to open in a safe manner and that kids have as normal of an experience as possible when we do return on the 24th. We've been monitoring the CDC guidance throughout the summer since the beginning of the pandemic. The CDC has really been how we guide our policies and our practices. The reentry committee is very committed to making sure that every faculty member, every person that enters our building is wearing a mask. The masks seem to be the number one way to mitigate the transmission of the virus. We know in our larger schools that social distancing will be difficult, so we've taken some measures to make sure that we can mitigate some of that. I know elementary schools are cohorting students as much as possible so that they're, they're not interacting with too many people throughout the day. We've deployed plastic partitions throughout the district in reception areas and public interaction points where a receptionist or a child nutrition worker might interact with someone closer than that six feet. In elementary schools, it's a little easier to bring smaller groups into the cafeteria areas or to have them eat in a classroom in a smaller group setting. In our larger secondary buildings, it's, it's more difficult to do that. This is one of the examples of our plastic lunch partitions that we're employing at the sixth and seventh grade center, the eighth grade center, and the ninth grade center. Again, we're using these in are larger schools that don't have open campus and don't have the ability to break students into small groups where they have to eat in larger groups. They're eating with their mask off. They can take their mask down and not worry about uh, transmission from student to student as they're sitting here with their mask off. This entire cafeteria that you see behind me will have a plastic six stall partition on every single lunch table. We're going to be deploying into every single classroom across the district hand sanitizer and disinfectant for teachers to use. So if there's high touch items or manipulatives that may need to be cleaned between uses, a teacher has access to disinfect those items prior to another person using them. We also have the hand sanitizer for increased hand washing and hand sanitizing throughout the day. We've also enhanced our custodial practices to make sure we put an emphasis on disinfecting high touch surfaces. In addition to that, we're finishing every room with an electrostatic spray of disinfectant. What it does is it puts an electrically charged mist into the air that clings to any surface behind it, underneath it, around it. Anything that's exposed, that electrostatic charge, just like a, a dryer uh, sheet in your dryer clings to your, clings to your clothes when you take them out of the dryer, the disinfectant clings to the surfaces of anything that it's sprayed towards. Those are all things that every custodian's been trained on. In addition to that, we've also just emphasized how high these stakes are. We want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to keep our children safe. That's about as high a task as anyone can be charged with. We take it very seriously, but we're up to the challenge. The operations department employs upwards of 150 people, and if we're missing a custodian or we're missing a building engineer or we're missing a groundsman, we're ready and willing to step into whatever role we need to take in order to uh, keep school open and to keep kids safe.